Stubbs taking his mandatory poop before he goes outside. Does it every day. Fucking lines up, he poops. Unless you want to get on a sleigh, I'm just going to move it around and unhook it over there. Whatever you do, don't put your tongue on there. Yeah. It'll stick. This is where she's really made an improvement. She'll stand here now. In her last year she was always fidgeting. The one thing I've taught her is patience, which is like the hardest thing in the world to teach them. But she stands good now. She doesn't have to go, go, go all the time.
before it froze, I put this T-post in, not trusting her. So when I go to open the gate, I could tie her to this going in and I could hook the lines on it when I was coming out. So I could go back and shut the gate without having to worry about her taking off. The old team, I never had to worry about that, but with her, I don't. I kind of trust her now, but I didn't to start with, so. Just, just put it there and it's just handy to have. You can always tie off to it if you have to. Warm now. Well, I'm in the deep snow. What's that sign for, Mom? Another handy thing. Garage door springs make a gate. Keeps your gate tight all the time. All right. Oh, oh. Get up. Follow the thing. Get warm, warm and it'll get cold. I'm just saying. So, where is the snowmobile trail? One of the handiest things, clamps on here, clamp your chainsaw right on, don't have to worry about it, works pretty good. I always tie her up because she's not real fond of chainsaws or falling trees. So she's getting better, but at first, whenever you fell a tree, she wanted to take off. So I just always tie her to this tree when I'm in this part of the woods. Josh, you better taste this poop here, see if it's deer poop or if it's no. chocolate covered raisins. Uh-uh. Could be chocolate covered raisins. No. <laughs> and it looks like milk duds. You gonna try one? Uh-uh. No? You don't think it's a milk dud? This used to be so thick back here and now it's all either dying or the wind blew it down. Or... This used to be so thick when you walked through in the daylight it was dark and now it's trees are dying and blown over. And... So you guys better stay here, I gotta knock that tree down. This is a fifth wheel hook off a semi. A driver left it at work, so I brought it home. Bend it. Oh, that's handy. Makes it easy for an old man to hook up a train.
So what is the advantage of using the logging arch versus just having them drag it out like you were just pulling it up here? Well, you see how hard they worked coming up here and it's a good half mile home. Time they got us back onto the chain. Back up. See how much of the tree is on the ground? A foot, maybe. Otherwise, you'd be dragging the whole thing on the ground. So it just makes it easier just overall for the horses? Yeah. And it's easier for you. You don't have to walk the whole way back. Say what? Easier for you. You don't have to walk the whole way back. We used to do that. Well, we used to load onto a sleigh. We used to load those by hand onto a sleigh. That size? Well, we cut them into five footers. Oh, well, even still, that's big. One time, Joe, brother-in-law Joe, your brother, or my brother, my son-in-law, your brother-in-law, there was a big one, bigger than this back there, and we cut it in five foot chunks and rolled it end over end through snow deeper than this out to the, he thought we were crazy burning wood. <laughs> we were on our knees like wrestling a bear. <laughs> yeah, should we specify here that this is not, you're not getting paid for this, this is just firewood for your house? This is, yeah, this is just firewood. It's just cleaning up the woods, basically. Cause look at all of them that are wind, tipped over that are going to have to come out. They're already partially uprooted. So they're going to have to come out eventually. So other people golf, you guys log. <laughs> Actually, I love being back here. My, this is my favorite part of the whole farm back here. Oh yeah, it's just that that little bit there that's all it's dragging versus the whole thing dragging and pulling. We used to just pull off of these and uh, we didn't want to lift the cart so bad. We pulled off these, so now I pull off here and then we don't have that problem. It keeps the cart on the ground because I've been throwing off that more than once. Yeah, because this thing doesn't weigh very much at all. No, I mean, but it'll hold it. But it wants to tip the whole thing over if we pull from up here. Whereas if we pull from down here, it keeps the nose down, keeps the cart on the ground.
Yeah, finished off.